Pro Group Management, workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Good morning, everyone. I'm Renee Summerauer. We start off with your business news, sponsored by Bank of Nevada Bank on Accountability. The Las Vegas Valley is the most searched place for relocating home buyers in the nation, according to a new report by Redfin. Clark County is expected to gain 42,066 residents this year. This would be the biggest population surge the county has seen since 2020. A new Olympic curling facility is coming to Las Vegas next year. A charity and curling club called Curl Vegas announced that it's planning a $1 million renovation of a building at 3525 Post Road near Sunset Park to convert it into a curling center. The project is scheduled to begin next month and be ready for play in the first quarter of 2024. Commercial gaming in the United States had a record second quarter and is on track to shatter the annual record set last year. American Gaming Association uh, earlier today reported revenue of $16.07 billion for the quarter that ended June 30th. This beats last year's second quarter by 8.1 percent, and it was the industry's second best quarter in history, only trailing this year's first quarter. It was the 10th straight quarter of annual growth. In your weather report, brought to you by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every blooming thing, whether in a pool, in the lake, in a hot tub or bathtub, children only need one inch of water to drown. So local medical experts are encouraging people with children to practice the ABCDs. A, adult supervision at all times. B, barriers between bodies of water and children. C, CPR and classes. And D, devices. For more on the ABCDs of pool and child safety, log on to LVRJ.com forward slash local. Well, it's sunny skies, hot and breezy conditions in your forecast for today. Today's high is reaching around 107 degrees with wind gusts as high as 22 miles per hour in parts of the valley. Tonight, partly cloudy skies with slight chances of rain. Evening lows around 85 degrees. For the rest of the week, more rain chances Friday into the weekend. Daytime highs will remain in the low 100s with winds increasing Friday to about 28 miles per hour in parts of the valley. Evening lows in the low 80s. In your top stories, brought to you by Nevada Hand's Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at NevadaHand.org. A woman was sexually assaulted by a Las Vegas spa worker during a massage last year. According to a lawsuit filed in district court last week, on May 27th, Stephanie Davidson fell asleep during a two-hour massage at Weiwei Foot Spa given by Wang Jin Fan. She woke up to fans' hands inappropriately touching her. The lawsuit alleges that Davidson has suffered from post-traumatic stress, anxiety, and difficulty sleeping. Weiwei Foot Spa did not respond for comment. Clark County will pay $10 million to the federal government after officials voted to approve a lawsuit settlement. A deal was approved with the U.S. Department of Justice settling a 2017 lawsuit against the county for leasing a parcel of Bureau of Land Management owned land to a golf course management company for less than market value. Clark County officials approved a step that would bring the Mirage one step closer to becoming the Hard Rock Hotel Las Vegas. It authorized a routine step that prepares the Mirage's owners for construction development. Once complete, the resort is expected to have 600 hotel rooms and 48,000 square feet of gaming area. Documents show that the high-rise guitar-shaped hotel tower will go where the Mirage's volcano currently stands. Air pollution fines in the last fiscal year were the lowest in southern Nevada in five years. According to the latest data from Clark County's Air Quality Department, the Clark County Division of Air Quality issued 139 pollution violation notices. That resulted in nearly 690,000 in fines in the most recent fiscal year. That's far lower than last year's sum of nearly 1.2 million and the lowest number since 2018. Four Southern Nevada interchanges are scheduled to have wrong-way driver detection systems installed. Interstate 15 at Star Avenue and U.S. Highway 95 at Kyle Canyon and Sky Canyon Roads and at Durango Drive. The Nevada Department of Transportation announced Tuesday that work is scheduled to begin Sunday night and will take two months to complete. During the work, overnight lane restrictions and ramp closures are possible between 8 p.m. and 5 a.m. Sunday through Friday at the four interchanges. Sports brought to you by Station Casinos, STN Sports. Download the app today. 
For the second straight season, the Raiders will be without Brandon Parker, the offensive tackle who missed all of the 2022 season with a triceps injury, will miss this season due to an undisclosed injury. Additionally, wide receiver Devontae Adams, who suffered an apparent leg injury in practice last week, returned to the field on Wednesday. The Raiders are facing the Rams in joint practices this week and will face the team in Los Angeles for their second preseason game on Saturday at SoFi Stadium. In your health news, sponsored by Boulder City Hospital, we're here for you when you need us. Food is fuel and sensible snacks can bridge the gap between meals. For most of our kids, we're going to want to have some type of snack every couple of hours, depending on when they had breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Elementary-aged kids need about a cup and a half of fruits and vegetables each day, growing to about two and a half cups per day for older kids. Cut up some you know, raw vegetables and have some of that fruit pre-washed so you can grab those um, quickly throughout the day. Um, have those out for your children as well. It's much easier to grab something that's available to you versus going in and finding something that's less healthy like a bag of chips or some cookies. Sports betting brought to you by the Las Vegas Paiute Triple Smoke and Cigar Shop. UFC 292 is Saturday at TD Garden in Boston and champion Aljamain Sterling is a minus 250 favorite at Circa Sportsbook in his bout for the men's bantamweight title. Challenger Sean O'Malley is a plus 215 underdog and the total is four and a half rounds with the under a minus 210 favorite. Women's strawweight champion Zhang Weili is a minus 285 favorite in the co-main event against Amanda Lemos, who is a plus 240 underdog. In your entertainment news, sponsored by Arizona Charlie's, has live entertainment every weekend at both locations. Go to ArizonaCharlie's.com to see who's playing. You've probably seen the movie, and it's possible you've also dressed up in pink in her honor, but now you can show your love for Barbie by shopping at her truck. The Barbie Truck Malibu Tour is coming to downtown Summerlin on Saturday. The mobile merchandise shop will be parked at the Macy's Promenade from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. Organizers say the tour will feature exclusive branded clothing, jewelry, and other accessories. And Las Vegas performer Frankie Moreno has officially hit 100 number one songs on iTunes. The 100th song that reached number one is called Bombs Away, and it landed Saturday, topping the iTunes blues chart the day after it was released. Moreno has been a Vegas resident for two decades, and he celebrated the accomplishment with his first show ever at Sahara Theater on Saturday. Thank you for watching 7 at 7 a.m. I'm Renee Summerauer. If you have an Amazon Fire TV, search Review Journal to download our channel. Watch Las Vegas Breaking News streaming live on your OTT device. We'll see you back here later today for 7 at 7 p.m. From the Las Vegas Review Journal, have a great day. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal.